gonna start off with my Romero zombie movies. And I have a couple editions of Dawn of the Dead on DVD. This is the um, theatrical US cut of the movie. And I've always really liked the artwork on this DVD. Very colorful, very cool. Just not really what you think of when you think of Dawn of the Dead, very bloody. But then again, it's also like almost very 70s artwork, which Dawn of the Dead was a uh, 70s movie with very bright colors and bright blood and everything. But nice disc artwork and um, a good insert. And I'll try to show most of the um, artwork off, but just again, I, I don't want the video to run too long, so I can't show every single insert and booklet off in detail, but I'll just try to give you guys a you know good idea in case you're interested in what some of these look like and what some of the inserts and everything look like. But this is the special edition of Dawn of the Dead, and this is also just the U.S. theatrical cut of the movie. This is a nice DVD, got some good special features, and a uh, cool insert. And next up I have the European cut of George A. Romero's classic. And this one was actually presented by Dario Argeno and features uh, more music by the uh, band Goblin, who is just an awesome progressive rock like soundtrack band. Just a really cool addition right here also. Nice insert. And then last for my Dawn of the Dead movies, I have the Ultimate Edition 4 disc box set. Which, this is just a fantastic box set. If you um, find this for a good price, it's definitely worth picking up. I actually got mine used, so I don't have the uh, back information slip anymore. But other than that, this is in really good condition. And this is a four-disc set. It includes the um, U.S. theatrical cut. And then it also includes the uh, European cut of the movie. But then it includes a, a cut of the movie that I think is unique to this set, which is a... Um, some sort of um, director's cut or extended cut of the movie that I think it was the cut that they used when they premiered the movie. But um, what I've read, it's like not one of Romero's favorite cuts of the movie. He prefers the theatrical cut. And um, also I've read that the movie features more stock music than the other cuts. So it has more less goblin music and more of the uh, stock music. So eventually I have to check that out and see what it's all about for myself. But... But right now, my favorite cut of this movie is the uh, European cut. For some reason, I just like that one the best. Alright, and then next up, I have a couple different copies of Day of the Dead. This is the two-disc edition. And this is a really nice edition. It has a cool little snap thing here. And then um, it also comes with a really cool insert and just the whole layout inside looks nice too some nice special features and all that just really cool release of this movie then I also have a single disc release of Day of the Dead and this is actually an older DVD release of this and I don't see this too often I don't come across this edition too much in stores, and I actually don't see too many people show it in their videos either. So this is, I, I've always just really liked this edition because it's almost, you know, unique to, to the Day of the Dead releases because it's, I think, the uh, one of the harder ones to find. Even though I've looked this up before and it doesn't go for too much money, but still, I just think it's one of the um, less common releases of Day of the Dead you can find. Original movie poster. I just love that. That's probably my favorite out of all the um, Romero zombie movie posters. I would love to get an actual poster of that one of these days. And then last for my Romero collection is Creepshow 2, which I actually like this movie just as much as I like the first one. It's always been hard for me to decide if I like um, this one less than the first one or not because I just I enjoy watching both of them equally. This is a really cool edition. This is actually the second release Anchor Bay put out of Creepshow 2. And this one is supposed to mimic the look of a old DC comic from like the 50s or whatever. 
And I just think they did a pretty good job. I think this is a nice looking release. Just just a one disc release. Comes with a cool little booklet and everything. So definitely my favorite DVD release, Creepshow 2. All right, next up is my Halloween films. And I actually have a good amount of Halloween Anchor Bay releases. This is actually my first copy of Halloween Anchor Bay edition I have and this is one of the first releases of Halloween on DVD ever. This is actually from 97. This is the first time Anchor Bay released it on DVD in the US. I don't know. Uh, this could be the first DVD release of Halloween. I know I've talked about this in some of my other videos but this is one of the rarer editions of Halloween because you know you don't see it too much since there's been so many re-releases of Halloween. It's probably had over like 10 or even more than that, re-released with box sets and everything included just from Anchor Bay, so this is um, a little bit harder to find than some of the other editions. Well, this is nice. It actually includes no special features except the trailer, but that's what I like about these older DVDs. They're very basic, you know, and for some reason I like that sometimes. And this is um, probably one of the rarer editions of Halloween you can get on DVD and this has the holographic cover which is really cool and this is just a one disc set but I've seen this go online for almost like a hundred dollars before so from what I know this is one of the uh, more expensive Halloween Anchor Bay releases came with a cool postcard thing and um, a replica of the movie poster like Anchor Bay does a lot just a really nice addition right here And I also have the extended TV cut of Halloween, which is a cool cut of the movie to watch. If you've seen the first one, you know, a hundred times, it's it's cool to watch this one every once in a while. My addition to this actually isn't in the best condition, but um, it still plays all the way through. There's like a few scuffs on the disc. But this is really cool. I like this. This is actually a rare DVD too now. Most of the Anchor Bays are because they're all out of print. Well, most of, the, most of the older ones are now. And then here we have Halloween 4. And this is actually the first DVD release of Halloween 4 too on DVD. And it has no special features either other than just a trailer. But still, I like it. And um, that's what the inside of this one looks like. And I love the movie poster for this. It's probably one of my favorite out of the Halloween movie posters. Even though it's hard to say because all the Halloween movie posters are pretty good for the first four or five films. Then I actually have another release of Halloween 4. The Return of Michael Myers. And this one I like just because I had a close-up shot of the uh, face on the poster, which I've never really seen this edition before. I came across this at a uh, thrift store for a couple bucks, so I thought it was pretty cool. You know, it just looks like your basic re-release of the Halloween movie. It's just the, the cover stood out to me, so that's why I picked it up. This actually has a couple special features on it, so, um, you know, that's cool. I always like to get um, DVDs with special features on it if I have a copy that doesn't have too many. And then I have the special edition of Halloween 5, which has some really good special features and has an introduction from some of the actresses in this movie, which I think is really cool and fun. And um, I've always liked the fifth one basically the same as the fourth. I always just thought of both going together well, even though I do think the fourth one is a little bit better of a movie in a sense, but I still love to watch both of these movies back to back. They're probably my two favorite a la Halloween movies 4 and 5 even though the first three I think are better movies the way they're directed and written but for some reason 4 and 5 were some of the first ones I'd ever seen I just I've always had a um, connection to the fourth and fifth Halloween like when I think about Halloween time in the fall I always think of these movies and I also have the Anchor Bay tins of Halloween 4 and 5 which these are um, kind of expensive now and are out of print and rare and when they were released they were limited numbered and everything so these are really cool and I also have the one from five 
which this one comes with some really cool inserts and um, has some nice special features on it too so just in case some of you guys have never seen the inside of one of these tins I'll just show real quick this is how they're put together basically and it has the uh, booklet the uh, insert and then it has the DVD inside like a CD jewel case and it's all just placed neatly inside I just think it looks nice Actually, I actually plan on getting all of the Anchor Bay horror tins. There's one for Hellraiser and from um, the Beyond, and there's you know there's more. So those are really cool too for an Anchor Bay collection. And I've always wanted to get those, so I'm glad to finally pick a couple of those up. Those are actually recent recent pur purchases. I got those probably like a month ago or a little bit less than that, like a week or so. But next up here we have the um, Hills Have Eyes from Wes Craven. This is actually the one disc release and um, eventually I plan on picking up the two disc special edition with a booklet and everything. I used to have that years ago. It was actually my first copy of the Hills of Vibes in the two disc. So I just want to buy it back again. But this is a nice release of it anyways. Then I have the Evil Dead Ultimate Edition which I think is really cool. This is a three disc set and it comes with the uh, full screen, the wide screen, and then it comes with a disc with uh, bonus features. So, you know, a really nice collector set of this. It has some really nice artwork and everything. Just, um, just cool, real cool in my opinion. Glad I picked that up. Then I have the uh, single disc edition of Evil Dead, and this is just your basic Evil Dead on Anchor Bay. Mine just has this um, sleeve that was put on some of their movies when they re-released them around Halloween time at one point one year. Really cool though. I love Evil Dead films. Some of my favorite horror movies ever. And this is the um, older Anchor Bay release of Evil Dead 2 with the original movie poster which I've always always wanted to get this so I'm really glad to have this. Just a really nice looking DVD in my opinion. The inside of that, I just they couldn't use that skull picture more in my opinion. In my opinion, just an awesome, awesome picture. And then I have the um, other release of Evil Dead 2 from Anchor Bay, which this one's also really nice too. It has some good special features and everything. And then there's the single disc release of Army of Darkness, which is nice. I like the uh, cover artwork on here, a little different than what you see in a lot of Army of Darkness releases. And this was actually the first Evil Dead film I saw. And I'm sure that's the case for a lot of people who grew up in the 90s like myself. And um, later on I found out about Evil Dead 1 and 2, which are, like I said, are two of my favorite horror movies ever. But this is just cool. I've always just loved Army of Darkness. One of my favorite like horror movies, if you can call it a horror movie. And this is the uh, two-disc edition, the Boomstick edition of Army of Darkness on DVD. And this is a really nice set. It actually comes with the U.S. cut, the U.S. theatrical release on disc one, and then disc two is the director's cut. Which, in my opinion, I actually like the theatrical cut the best, just because it's the one I grew up with. It's the one I remember seeing. It's the one I'm comfortable with. But the director's cut was fun to watch, too. So definitely suggest to check that out for anyone who hasn't seen the director's cut yet. 